in Taiwan, our culture are not really used to talk about love or your feelings, especially when you before 18 years old. So when I was young, my parents and my teachers always told me, don't think about anything. The only thing you need to do is study and go to a good university and your life will win. I have been working in Taiwan Tongzhi Hanlai Association for like 12 years. Um, Tongzhi means LGBTIQ in Mandarin uh, pronunciation. We don't have lots of like hate crime or physical bullying in schools, but people just think you don't exist. Especially when I was uh, young, uh, when I was in senior high school or in, in the university, a lot of teenagers commit, uh, committed suicides at that time because they don't have anyone to talk, to discuss their worries and their feelings, their relationship, their love stories. Basically, um, in the very beginning, I provide a lot of uh, community services like support group and also phone counseling. And also we help teenagers who, uh, who, who live in the campus who need uh, like very, uh, support system. And also we help the parents who have LGBT children. After a few years, I started to think um, the policy is really important two years ago to try to win the legislature position uh, in Taiwan. So I'm also, um, the I think I'm the first uh, coming out lesbian uh, candidate uh, in Taiwan as well. We, we want to build a more friendly society. So the best way is marriage equality. Um, however, we do have a very important policy in 2004. Every student uh, from elementary school to senior high school, they have to take at least the four hours um, class uh, about gender education. And the gender education includes uh, LGBT education. At that time, you can think 2004, uh, uh, elementary school student might, um, might be seven right now, he or she is 20. So in our 20th generation, the support, uh, the percentage of, of support marriage equality is really high, it's over 85%. So policy indeed impact people a lot. So we are facing a really serious battle about uh, one side is like love and acceptance. Another side is like hatred, fears, and also rumors uh, around Taiwan. So this, um, this battle is still going on. Um, so we are trying our best to uh, impact the middle people, uh, support us in our side.